the universe. I have another video, otherwise I wouldn't be on your screens, but it is a what's in my school bag video, which is super exciting, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, hello to my new wall, which you can kind of see is only half papered. That's because my mum started it yesterday. It's probably going to be like this for a while, considering my mum takes quite a while to finish projects because she gets sidetracked and doesn't have enough time. So, excuse it, but I love it and I wanted to film behind it because I love it. So, it's here. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, so this is my bag. Looks a bit weird. Um, this is from eBay. It's kind of like the Zara Office City bag dupe, but more of the um, Zara City bag. I think it's just called City bag dupe, which had slightly rounder edges and wasn't quite as straight. I decided to get this because I really wanted the City bag. And they were selling one on the Zara website, which was more structured and kind of quite different. But it was £50 and then after £60 I was like, I don't have that kind of money for a school bag. So I looked online, I looked on eBay and I found this one, which I really, really like. It's quite big. If you have an average size laptop, then it would fit in here. My laptop's literally like that much extra space and it would fit in here. It's really infuriating. But I do have... Um, I think a slightly larger screen than most laptops do. Um, but the quality feels really nice. Um, there have been like a couple of small issues with like some of the hardware, but nothing that a little bit of pliers can't fix. Or there's been a bit of an issue with one of these, but it's fine. I mean, the only thing is like, there are a few loose threads hanging out, but overall the quality has been really great. It feels like a good um, thicker leather and I really, really like it. So inside, as you can see, there are two zipped compartments um, and inside even further there's another zipped compartment here and then two other compartments here and here. Um, inside one of the zipped compartments is not that one, the other one. Inside one of these zipped compartments is actually um, a little sort of pouch here which is kind of padded so I think they've tried to make it so if you had like an iPad or something that it would fit in there and you could keep it slightly safer. Um, okay so let's get into what's actually in my bag. So I think we'll start with this compartment here. So I just I have decided to keep um, my like proper school supplies in these compartments. So in this one, I've literally this one actually is padded. So I feel like this one they might like have felt like to put a laptop in there or anything. But this one I um, got this folder in it. It's empty at the moment because I haven't, I haven't quite decided what I was going to put in this one, but. It's from Sainsbury's and that's actually all that's in that pocket. I do find that once you stick a folder in something in one of these, it kind of just, like, that's it. And also, when you stick stuff in these, it makes the middle bit smaller. Like, as you can see, this sort of size taken over to make this bit smaller. But and then I've taken this out and this bit's a lot more spacious. So, in here I have... The Devil Wears Prada because I watched half of it with my friend and then she's lent me the DVD because I need to watch the end of it and I haven't watched it before and it was great what I watched and yeah, I I need to watch the rest. A label, which has history on it that I made, that came off my folder, so. Oh, thank you motorbike for driving up and down the road, I really appreciate it. Next thing is this ruler. This is one of those Pentley rulers. I found this and thought, you know what, let's just stick it in there in case I need a 30cm ruler. And it's just purple and cool. So I think that's all for this section, except for already managed to get a few crumbs in that. Lovely. 
Then in the other side of the suction, I have a so just so fragrance. I think it's so attitude. I don't know, but I don't know why I got this. I just picked it up. It smells pretty good. And then I have my pencil case, which is a really old design from Paper Chase. I really need to get a new one, but. This is what I used last year and I haven't really done anything. I've literally got like random stuff in it. I have a Tipex which is completely dried up and like cracked so it's now a shaker. I have a pen Tipex which is not dried up. Some highlighters, a few pens, got some pencils going on. It's a real mess. I couldn't be bothered really to buy proper stationery because I'm lazy and stingy so I just using whatever I have. Next in here I have um, a hole punch because now I'm using a lot more folders and stuff it's really good to have a hole punch so then you can hole punch your work and stick it in a folder and you don't have to ask the teacher so I got this mini one last year but I never really used it so this year I've stuck it in my bag in hope that I will remember to use it but it's just a Mayped one. I also have a pen. Helpful. And my purse. This is like a little Kath Kidston purse that I got ages ago. It's a star print. And I just thought I'd use this because I don't want to take my big purse. And in here I keep bus tickets because I have to get a bus to school twice a week. I have my keys, which I have my house key and locker key on, and yeah, very exciting. And then the rest in here is just some change, really. Oh, for the bus, or if I get hungry at school. So I just keep them all in here because it's quite small and it's convenient. Also, in here, I have my timetable because, um, I do, I don't really know why, but I have my timetable, um, really exciting, it's my life for the next year. And the last thing in this section is my phone, I take my phone to school because we're allowed our phones, um, we have a special system thing. So I just do this little middle compartment bit, in here I kind of keep my more non-school related product things, so I just have... Oh, I have a nail varnish in here because um, I painted my nails at school. This is just the Revlon Parfumery Nail Varnish in Autumn Spice and it smells quite nice actually but it only smells nice when it's on the nails when you're just me this, like smelling it anyway. It doesn't smell any different than like just normal nail varnish. Then I have this makeup bag from Benefit which I got for my birthday and... I just keep a few bits and bobs in here if I need a touch up. So I have a lipstick in here. This is Revlon's Pink in the Afternoon. I love this lipstick. I put it in there because I had picture day on Friday. Then I have a little Kabuki brush from Primark. I think this is perfect because I can just like put on some powder if I need to and it's really compact and small. Then I just have a collection of breast powder. Then I have the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. If I, then I just have some Vaseline lip balm with my lips good dry. I have a rollable perfume from Primark. These are great. There's a whole bunch of them actually and they're like £2. And this uh, Essence lipstick in On The Catwalk which is a nice sort of ready dark colour which I thought was good for going into autumn. So that's all the makeup I take with me. And then I have one more section which is this big zip section here. In here I have some chewing gum. Then I have a book. This is the Kite Runner, which is something that I'm going to study. This is a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. It's just really beautiful and there are so many twists and turns. And honestly, when you think it's gonna go right, Oh, it's just, it made me cry multiple times before page 100, like seriously. So I highly recommend reading this book, it's a great book. Then also I have this notebook, 
This is also from Sainsbury's. I really like the Sainsbury's stationery and it's not too expensive. This kind of has most of my notes in for a lot of my subjects. Um, I've just been kind of writing what subject it is at the top of the page. But I think this has my classics and English stuff in it at the moment. But what I'm going to end up doing is like taking the notes out, the paper out, and probably putting it into a file. So just at the moment this is what we're doing whilst I'm getting into it. But I've got loads of like notes and paper and stuff in here and I really like it oosh that was loud oh then here I have one of my textbooks for history this is Aest Tsarist Russia which is a rather interesting period of Russian life so yeah I've got my Russian textbook then I have another notebook this is my history notebook um this is a special one because i diy'd it myself oh yes if you want to know how to do this and how to make this then i will upload the video because it's kind of rubbish so i didn't upload it but if you want to know how to make this then give this video a thumbs up and say and I will upload it anyway so um, this is my history book I just have history notes in here on um, I'm doing civil rights and Russia so and I have my planner because my school always gives us planners but apparently last year's sixth form said that they didn't really use theirs so our school said if you want one get one yourself so I've found this project book which is A5 and it just has sort of lined paper. I mean, I was kind of looking for like a, a diary agenda thing, but I figured that actually this might be okay. I'll just like write down the date of the subject, date it's due in, what it is, and I've got a lot more space. Um, and also it has these little pockets, so I can put in like, I can probably keep my timetable in here, or any sheets or anything, so I thought it'd be quite helpful. Um, Basically most of my stationery I bought when it was like half price or on sale, so, you know, that's that. And then I think the last thing in here, oh, is, um, is, uh, the trial metamorphosis and in the penal colony, um, Stephen Burkhoff's adaptations of them because I'm doing metamorphosis for drama, so I need this book and I got it off Amazon second hand which kind of sneakily because someone's actually written a bunch of notes in here which is really really helpful for me because I don't have to write those notes in and I can steal those notes and no more stuff without even doing anything so who's the winner considering this book was a penny plus postage but you know whatever so that's all that's in my bag Woo! Yay! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!